How much is your Wii? Morning. Morning. You had a great day to have a garage sale. Yeah. How much are your V just tapes? I don't know what she's got on. Didn't see any kind of price. What are you looking for? Uh, there's, I got two. How about like 50 cents a piece for them? Did you do that? I did that. Okay, cool. Thank you. How much is your Wii? Um, a hundred for all of it. hundred for everything? Mm -hmm. Games, everything. The Splatoon game is inside the Wii U. Okay. Would you take 50 for it? Um, not 50. Not for all of it. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could have got that, uh, Wii U console with some of the games. I thought the games would have been worth more. I went ahead and uh, looked a few of them up, and they were only selling for like $10 each, like free shipping, just not a lot of value there. Uh, the value was in the console, and it was probably worth about $100. Um, I think what she was asking was definitely fair. Uh, just, you know, as far as me trying to resell it, not enough meat on the bone, so just had to pass on that one. I'm gonna use your mixer here. Oh, wonderful. There you go. Ah. Thank you, sir. Morning. Morning. How much are your games? Uh, yes, thank you. Thanks so much. How about making us an offer? That's where we're at right now. Okay, let's see if some of them are in here. Actually, no, none of them are in here. <laughs> Yeah, they're all empty. Oh, <laughs> that stinks. That was false advertising. Let's get them out of there. Do you have, do you have the GameCube? Uh, no, we don't have a GameCube. How much is I the... Have, I, um, I was just going to do $5. I got batteries if you want for it. Oh, oh don't worry about the batteries. It's fine. There you go. So Thank you. It's not one of these. It's the second series out. Uh huh. How's that ET closer? Yeah, somebody asked me yesterday. Yeah, that's cool. I thought I had some, but I wasn't sure where it was. How much is it? You can have it for a dollar. I mean, I already know what it's worth. You can have it for a dollar. That's fine. It's wrinkled too, which hurts it. Yeah. But it's been sitting around doing nobody any good for years. Do you have any other old posters? No, yeah, that's the only one I come across. Okay. There Thank you go. You, sir. Appreciate Thank you. You got that, you? Huh? How much money did you bring? She didn't have it all. Yeah, I... Value out of the box for the janky water. It, it, and then, like... I dug out some odds and ends out of the boxes over there. Okay. I could not find the remote for this VCR DVD thing, so I don't know if you got it somewhere. You can just have it. Okay, and then what do you want for this stuff? Um, I'm going to say $5. Did you look to make sure everything was in there? It looked like it kind of was, but I didn't okay. pull it all out. I'm going to say, how about $15 for everything? That'll work. All right, everything else is inside, you said? Uh, downstairs. Uh, I'll see you when I'm back. Okay. Are you looking for anything special? Uh, just whatever. I mean, I never know until I find it, you know what I mean? You got a beautiful property here. Well, yeah, it's just a little bit too large for just us two knocking around. Yeah. Did the house sell quick? 
Uh, no, we're it's still for sale. We're showing, got a showing, open house tomorrow, a showing tomorrow. Oh, it's just picking up pace. Uh, various golf clubs, old drivers, putters. Uh, got some uh, some missing, but uh, ping eyes. Uh, missing some clubs, you said? It's missing, yeah. Yeah, just for, it's good for practice, missing about two or three clubs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see, converter, car back, old tripod, swim fins. I have five sets of speakers on the back wall. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm, sp I'm selling for three fifty, all in total. If you buy them all, I'll probably throw in the two Sony cassette to cassette and a CD changer. Okay. Uh, Ohio State gear, Cousinard grinder and coffee maker, bar set. Hmm. Chop saw 18 volt Ryobi. That's a chop saw, hand saw. Yeah. But everything plays well. Some are very ugly, some are, but they all play well. I'm keeping the Sherwins. Okay. Well, I appreciate you showing me everything. That's okay. Well, thank you, sir. Sure. Good luck with the move. Oh, thank you. That was a really nice guy at that sale, and he had some really good stuff, but I think pretty much what he was asking is, you know, what it was worth. I don't know that there was a lot of money to be made there, but either way, it was cool kind of seeing all his stuff. Uh, he had good taste. He had some really nice electronics. I maybe could have made a bundle deal on everything, but I think we probably just would have been too far apart. Okay, so I've got three dollars, four dollars. These are twenty-five cents. One, two, three, four. A dollar, dollar seventy-five. That's four seventy-five. Um, would you do twenty on this? That'd be up there. I'm getting all this. I just wonder if you do twenty on that. Yeah. Okay, twenty-four seventy-five. We'll just call it twenty-five. Make it even. They sell the whole kit. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Picker. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm Greg. I'm John. Nice to John, meet you. Yeah. Hey, man. I, I started watching your videos about three, four weeks ago or so. Yeah. I started with the, the Craigslist Hunter. That's where I started with. And then I found you. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> man, that's great. I know. I really enjoy your, your videos. Oh, thanks, man. Really good. Always Are you an electronics guy? You know, not really. Um, you know, I. You know, I, I dabble with it, you know, and it's, it's I'm, I'm a little hesitant but just because, you know, checking things out and everything. I mean, I have a little setup at home where I can, you know, test gear and stuff. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't had much luck lately. I picked up a VHS DVD player and it, it was... Didn't it was work. Busted, yeah, but, but yeah anyways, it's a numbers game. Well, the thing is, you know, it's like you said, I think in your videos, it's like, well, okay, if you're going, if it's five bucks, you know, it's pretty... Pretty small, <laughs> pretty small risk. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, hey. Hey, it was nice meeting you. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really made my day. <laughs> good luck to you, Greg. Got a pretty good haul of stuff today. A couple IKEA bags are full, and I got some big pieces too. So I'll bring all this in and show you guys. One sale I was at, I was buying a handful of things like a DVD, some uh, new VHS tapes. And this right here, and it came up to like four or five bucks. So I went ahead and paid him for that. And then there was another item they had 25 on that I offered him 24. They took it a lot of times. You kind of buy a few things and say, like, look, I'll buy this. Can you work with me on that? You might be able to get a better deal that way. So sometimes I'll do that. This right here is really cool. I um always look at like Halloween decorations because I've done pretty well selling them, and Halloween's coming up, so it's good timing. This is vintage Tales from the Crypt. Um, decorations from 1996 it is a candelabra and I think it's mostly new in the packaging I don't even know if they pulled this thing out like here's the light bulb like it looks like it's all new in there paid three bucks for it and I should get like 40 or 50 bucks based on the comps 
Sealed VHS tapes, I always pick them up. They're not huge money makers. I just sold a set of, or like a lot of eight of them. And I think I got 20 bucks plus shipping, something like that. Um, this is also a lot of eight. So I'm hoping to get the same. Here is the Seiko clock. Um, they had 25, I'm average with 20 and they took it. I just sold a similar one of these and it played Beatles songs and like the whole clock rotated and everything. And I ended up getting like 100, 150 bucks for it or something like that. This one is not quite as intricate. Um, I don't think the whole face moves necessarily. Like there's some spinning parts and stuff, but I don't think this one is worth as much. It is pretty much complete in the box, it looks like. Yeah, so they've still got all the packing material and everything. And it plays a bunch of songs. Popular melodies. Ain't nothing like the real thing, how sweet it is. Stop in the name of love. It's pretty cool. And then it's got like Christmas songs. It plays like 18 different songs. Got this Yamaha mixer for 10 bucks. He had the uh, owner's manual with it and everything. And I looked real closely just to make sure all the knobs and everything were there. And it looks pretty clean. If it works, I think it's worth about 100. Got a TI-83 Plus calculator for $3. And this is a perfect time of year to sell it because all the kids are going back to school in like three or four weeks. It's like somebody was being funny writing little messages on there. Here's a smiley face. Yeah, I'll have to take those off before I sell it. Here's that ET poster I got for a dollar. I really don't want to put, pull it back out of here and put it back in again, but I think you guys saw it earlier in the video. I like finding vintage posters. They're not always worth a lot, but sometimes they are. And I'm just nostalgic for 80s stuff like ET. Got this big floor puzzle for a dollar. It was new in the plastic. Um, I might either give it to my daughter or resell it. I don't know. Anytime I find like new games or new puzzles, I usually try to pick them up. Got this little sharp calculator for a dollar. I just found a Sanyo calculator a few weeks ago for five bucks and I wound up selling it for 150. So I've been kind of keeping an eye on vintage calculators. Got a couple VHS tapes for 50 cents each. They might not be worth anything, but I just kind of thought they were cool. This is a Pink Floyd, The Wall. It is sealed in the plastic. And then this is Peter Sellers up the creek. I thought this was the Monty Python guy, but now I'm not too sure. This right here, I walked right past it and didn't notice it until I was leaving the sale. Uh, it's a big casino game set. It's got all the styrofoam and everything in there, so I doubt it was really used very much. And they only wanted five bucks for it. This thing's got some weight to it and it's really big. So I think I'm just gonna try to sell it local, maybe for 25, 30 bucks. I got this set of irons for 10 bucks. Oh, look at that. I got a spider for free. Oh, two spiders. Uh, these are Ben Hogan Edge Forged irons. And I checked, they're all there. It's like two iron through pitching wedge. Matter of fact, Ben Hogan clubs, instead of having a P for pitching wedge, they have an E wedge. Um, it's the same like degree as a pitching wedge, but the golfer Ben Hogan called the wedge the equalizer. So that's why Ben Hogan wedges have an E instead of a P. I think I can sell the set for 60, 70 bucks. It's got some woods in there too, but I think these are just worthless. These are like some old uh, tailor-made driver and woods, but they're the technology's so old that I don't think anybody's gonna want those. One sale I went to, everything was just kinda like in boxes, so you kinda had to dig through stuff to find what you wanted. So I dug through like six or seven boxes and found a couple things. I got this Dragon Naturally Speaking software. I've sold one of those recently, and I think I got like 15, 20 bucks. I got this little Samsung Handycam. I got a little like handheld recorder. And I got another little handheld recorder. That one's a Sony. Got this Diamond One Touch Video. Looks like it might be kind of cheap. Maybe a little bit outdated, but it was new in the, the box. Like, you know what, I'll grab it. And then this DVD recorder. She didn't have the remote for it. She told me I could just take it. Um, when I brought everything to her, I was kind of thinking like, you know, maybe 20 bucks, 25 bucks for everything. And she's like, you can just have this. And then she came up with 15 bucks for all the rest of it. I'm like, that sounds good to me. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.